Welcome to the Researcher Workbench Notebooks and Code Snippets tutorial video. Jupyter Notebooks are powerful, flexible tools for data analysis. The Researcher Workbench currently supports notebooks written in either R or Python programming languages. In order to perform analyses, we will open a notebook in edit mode. If this is the first time we are spinning up our notebook, it may take up to 10 minutes for the workbench to set up our virtual machine and prepare our analysis environment. In this example, the first block of code is the output from the dataset builder, which automatically wrote this code when we exported our dataset for analysis. This code represents a query that pulls specific demographic data on our major depression cohort from the larger All of Us dataset. I run this code by highlighting it and clicking Run. I now see the first five rows of a data frame containing gender, race, ethnicity, and date of birth information on our cohort. If I run the code in the next cell, I will pull a data frame with the mental health survey information I selected in the dataset builder and concept sets video. Now I'm ready to start analyzing this data. I can add a new cell, write descriptive language about our methods, or I can write code to analyze our data and run the cell. We can add new cells to explore the distribution of values in our dataset, create plots, or do additional cleaning in preparation for analysis. We can write this code ourselves using either R or Python. We may also find it helpful to use some of the ready-made code snippets available within the Snippets menu to do basic operations and plots. For example, let's use a snippet to create a general summary of the data in our survey dataset. First, we run Setup for basic operations. Then we select Summarize a data frame and make sure that we replace your dataset name with the name of our dataset. Note that this is synthetic data, so you may receive a different summary if you're running this exercise along with this tutorial. We can also check out the Notebooks featured workspace for a more in-depth walkthrough of how to use the notebooks. We can also view basic information about notebooks under Getting Started, Analyzing Your Data in Jupyter Notebooks. If we wish to create new datasets using Jupyter Notebooks, rather than using the Dataset Builder tool, it is important that we understand the All of Us data model, specifically how the data is organized and where it is stored. To learn about our data model, see the Getting Started section. We can also explore the tutorial workspaces within our Featured Workspace section for more on using notebooks to analyze All of Us data.